What up? Squat it down with the Hamilton. What's going on? Y'all all right? Yeah. Welcome to Comedy Q. I'm your host, Trife, the comedian. Woo! Woo. This brother coming to the stage is a, a legend in the comedy game, man. Um, he's from New York. For y'all give it for New York. Um, BT, HBO, jokes, anything, any television thing this man has been on. He's a hustler. I'm a fan of this brother, and it's a blessing to introduce him. Y'all put your hands together for the comedy styles of Franz Cassius in the house. All right, how we doing tonight? What's going on? We good in this motherfucker. All right, y'all looking at me like, I ain't seen that motherfucker before on shit. <laughs> what kind of legend is he, a fucking ghost? <laughs> What's good? How you doing, you good? Yeah. All right, all right, so he said it. My name is Franz Cassius. I'm from New York City. New York City is in the house, Brooklyn, New York. That's right. Moved out here to LA a couple of years ago. All right, had to leave that ratty ass motherfucking New York City. That shit, crazy. Yeah. Came right here to LA to another beautiful ratty ass fucking city out there. I did not know this shit was the motherfucking hood. It don't look like that on the brochure, goddamn. <laughs> Palm trees, you know, homeless people all over this motherfucker. I did not know shit was like that. I had a homeless nigga come up to me downtown LA. This nigga was like, yo, excuse me. Yo, con, con, I don't want no change. I want to know if I could stay over your place. <laughs> Just till like, I get on my feet. Uh, you better put something on your feet, motherfucker. <laughs> I had another motherfucker downtown Union Station fucking with me and only me. All right, the place is packed, but he coming to me like, yo, my man, excuse me, you got the time on you? You got the time, excuse me, you got the time on you? You got the time? I'm like, oh, why? Where do you need to be, motherfucker? <laughs> Over there, you make it. Get the fuck out of my motherfucking face, goddamn. Fuck out of here. I have no time for the bullshit, motherfucker. Fuck out of here. So other motherfuckers come begging me for food, you know. You know the ones food? I had this one motherfucker was bougie than motherfucker. He come in like, yo, excuse me, can I get a couple dollars so I can get something to eat? I had a half a Jimmy John sandwich and shit. You know, I had a half a sandwich. So I'm like, yo, here, you, you, you can have this right here. This motherfucker said, I don't eat after people I don't know. This motherfucker got selective pride and dignity, motherfucker. You just ask me for money, you don't know me, motherfucker. But you can't eat after me? Fuck you, motherfucker. What are you talking about? <laughs> you ever get the motherfucker that kind of, the, the homeless thing that kind of scare you and, and ask you for money and scare you at the same time? You know, he threatening a little bit, but he trying to act like, I had him on my fucking camera, I was like, yo, you got a dollar or something? You know, something, get something? Yo, you got a dollar? I, I wasn't scared, but I gave him the dollar anyway and shit. I was like, please don't scratch me with them dirty ass nails, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not making fun of it. Hey, look, I used to be homeless myself, and I pulled myself from my bootstraps. That's right, I made it. That's right. That's why I could talk about the shit. Cause I know what it's like, and I will never go there again. Yeah. Here in L.A., ooh, L.A., the rent is rough here. I had to get a car in this city. Oh my God. Cause that motherfucking Metro bus, what the fuck, when I moved here? Anybody take the bus here? That shit ain't a bus to me. That shit is a moving psychiatric clinic. That's what the fuck that is, goddamn. That Metro bus, a dollar seventy-five. You could do what the fuck you want on that motherfucking bus. Yeah, and, and the crazy 
homeless slick, them homeless slick crazy motherfuckers, they slick. They know not to act crazy before it, they get on, right? <laughs> you ever see them? They know not to act crazy before they get on. They act normal with everybody else, like, all right, act like you're coming from work, all right. <laughs> Soon as you get to the bus driver, lose your mind again, he ain't gonna do shit. He get to the bus driver, it's $1.75. Jimmy Crack Hard, I don't care. Try the bus, motherfucker. Ah! I ain't walking to Slauson, nigga. Ah! Bus driver let that motherfucker ride like, hey, they don't pay me to throw crazy niggas off the bus. They paid me to drive and that's it. That nigga stabbed me, that's my fault. Metro don't cover that shit, fuck that. Gotta get a car in this motherfucker city. God damn, dollar seventy-five? Shit. Fuck that. And then you got the lady that wanna get on the bus with all the motherfucking kids. And whatever she bought for Walmart is getting on that motherfucking bus. She don't give a fuck what size it is or how many people on the bus. She getting that shit on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Tasha on, Tasha on. Come on, Tasha. Excuse me. Excuse well, get the fuck out the way then. Excuse me. Excuse me, touch on, touch on! Touch on, help your brother bring that fucking couch on this bus. Excuse me. Excuse me. Crazy motherfucker in the back. Ah! Should have got that shit delivered. Ah! Say no motherfucker, you whore. Ah! Should have got that shit delivered. Ah! Like, goddamn, I gotta get a car in this motherfucker city. This shit will drive you crazy out this motherfucker. <laughs> What's going on? No wonder why the fare ain't going up every year. <laughs> and then, and, am I the only motherfucker paying to get on the damn bus? Okay? My Metro card support the whole fucking system. Because everybody else behind me is like, hey, yo, I ain't got the fare today, man. I ain't got the fucking fare. Yo, I ain't got the fare. Fuck that. I ain't. I'm struggling, I'm struggling to pay 40 a week on the fucking card. These niggas behind, I ain't got the fair, my man, fuck that, I ain't got the fair. Bus driver ain't doing shit. Fuck that. After a while, I was getting on the bus like, fuck that, I ain't got the fair today, man, fuck that. I ain't got the fair, they ain't got the fair, I ain't got the fair, fuck that. I ain't got the fair today, fuck that. You ain't charging them, you ain't charging me, nigga, fuck that. You, you throw me off, you gotta throw them off, fuck that shit, huh? I'm saving my motherfucking Metro card. Fuck that shit. Uh, had to get a car in this motherfucker shit. God damn. That, mess, that shit, that Metro bus is, that shit is fucked up. And then, I, I, and then on top of all of that shit, how the fuck are you gonna get to work on time on the motherfucking Metro bus? Every other stop, a wheelchair gotta get on that motherfucker. Y'all ain't got a bus just for these niggas? We got it in New York, fuck that! Yo, get that nigga on, you making me late, goddamn shit! And yo, and I always get the motherfucker, this nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm late for work, this nigga holding up the whole bus, he don't even know how to work his own fucking wheelchair. Whole bus waiting, this nigga... Come on! Buckle that nigga in already, what the fuck? You gonna get me fired, goddamn it, six minutes on this nigga? Vit, vit, come on, to the left, nigga. I'm not even crippled on all the work that shit. Hurry up, goddamn it. Vit, vit, finally they buckle this nigga in. Bus driver go back to the steering wheel. She ain't even take off yet. This motherfucker in the steering wheel, ding! One stop! You did all that shit to go to one fucking stop? You could have wheeled your ass to the next fucking stop. Come on, man. You can go 15 miles on one charge on that shit. You get me fired, nigga. Hurry up and get that nigga off. Zit, zit. Crazy nigga in the back. Ah! You gonna get me fired too? Ah! I'm gonna get fired too! Ah! Ah! Like, God damn, I gotta get a car in this motherfucking city. 
I got to get me a motherfucking car! God damn! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you very much. So then I get a car. Guess what happens? <laughs> Two weeks after I get a fucking car. <laughs> fucking car accident. Yep. <laughs> ah, Smash my shit. Who gets out the car? Not another brother. I thought it was another brother. No. No. My friend? What happened? Little short Mexican dude. A real Mexican. Not a, not a Chicano, a real Mexican. I'm talking about with the little pickup truck with the scrap metal in the back. All right. From Sinaloa or some shit? Or Puebla? A real Mexican. Not no Chicanos. Mama got out, my friend. For what happened? I know see you. What the fuck you mean happened? You smashed my motherfucking car. No, not like that. Okay. Esperate, esperate, okay. Okay, you go the way I leave. And then I come vroom like that. You see the light, I see you, and then I know see you. What the fuck did you just say to me, mama? And he thinking you'll explain it better the second time slower. Okay, perate, perate. Perate, me yata, perate. Yeah, I think that means nigga in Spanish, goddamn. No, not like that, okay? You go the way like that. And then I come like that. I see you, and then I know see you. And they'll put shit that ain't got nothing to do with the fucking accident or you, like, okay, so you go away like this, right? See, you go like that, and then I go like this, because you know, yesterday, yesterday, I didn't know you yesterday. What the fuck are you telling me anything about yesterday for? You just smashed my car 10 minutes ago. I never met you before, mother. Yesterday, I fixed my brake, you know me. So now I gotta take the fucking subway now. <laughs> LA subway, oh my God. I thought it was gonna be better than the bus. That shit is the bus underground out there. With a little added sexual harassment on that mother. And not only for women, men too. I'm on the red line one day, right? You know. <laughs> You know, train crowded, you know, it's pretty crowded, but it ain't that motherfucker crowded out there. This nigga right up on my ass. <laughs> Fuck this nigga, why this motherfucker holding the same pole in the sa same fucking position? This motherfucker right up on me like this. <laughs> like, yo, what the fuck going on here? And here's the sexual harassment part. Every time the train rattled the move, right? You know, this motherfucker could take an opportunity to give me one of these, like this. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? What are you doing, motherfucker? Now, after the third stop, I'm ready to fuck this motherfucker up, right? Because he's still doing this shit after the third stop. But I look around and realize that we're the only two left in the car. I'm like, nigga, there's seats available now, motherfucker. Fuck you still doing behind me, motherfucker. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. These two little black girls like, why didn't you move after the first stop? You liked it here. Why didn't you move? Uh-huh. It took you three stops. He liked it here. Use a booty band in your damn self, nigga. These two little black girls like, yeah. <laughs> like he, he, it took him three stops. He liked it here. <laughs> oh, fucking crazy. Mexican people in the house. Give it up for the Mexicans. Yes. These niggas wait till I get out the shower to bring me a fucking. <laughs> Damn, they fucking just came from Venice Beach out this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
You're right on time, yeah. <laughs> Love this city. Love this city. Got everybody, got Mexicans. Who else out here? Africans, African Americans. Who else? Armenians. No Armenians. Armenians, where you at? Come on now. I see them eyebrows together, goddamn. Where are they? No, let me stop fucking with people. <laughs> My African people, they out here too. They need to calm down sometime though. African people are the loudest of all black people. Did you not know that? I was in the bank one day. This white lady, she letting her kid play all over the motherfucking bank. Ain't telling the kid shit. Yeah, this African security guard walked right up to the lady, lady! Why you don't tell your baby to sign right out by like that? <laughs> this is not playground, lady! You need to tell your baby to stop it right now, right now, right motherfucking now. Okay? This is not right to let your baby ride about like that. Me and him, the only two black people, I'm online, the other white people like, tell him to calm down. I'm like, I don't know that nigga, what the fuck? Huh? I'm online like you. Black people don't check each other, fuck that. Huh? LAPD coming in, they whipping that nigga ass, goddamn. Huh? So he, he, he wouldn't stop. You know, I, I, I let him, blah, blah. So I went like this, so I, I said, yo, my man, bring it down. He said, my brother, please. Don't tell me how to do my job, okay? You don't have to kiss these white people's ass anymore. You don't have to kiss these white people's ass anymore. You are free. You are free. You can't talk to them any, any way you want to, okay? Don't be scared of these motherfucking white people, okay? This white dude online heard that shit and he heard all that shit. He was like, oh my God. Who hired the cannibal for security? That motherfucker heard that shit. He's like, what, 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 what? what you say to me? Oh, you call me cannibal, right? Because I'm motherfucker African. You call me cannibal, right? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I know you. you because of Africa? You, you want to see cannibal? Lady, give your baby to me right now. Give your baby. It didn't really happen. Y'all motherfuckers like, oh! Like I'm telling y'all a bedtime story and shit. Oh, and then the witch ate him. Oh my God. It's a fucking joke, God damn. <laughs> it was like, oh. <laughs> I added that part, all right? <laughs> humor, humor. <laughs> Yeah, man. Y'all Mexican too? Give it up for the Mexican. Y'all are hustling. Give it up for them motherfuckers, boy. They hustle. They hustle. Yo. They come to this motherfucking country and hustle. No paperwork, nothing. Next thing you know, they making crazy money selling hot dogs with bacon wrapped around that mother. That shit is delicious. I'm going to learn how to do that shit. I'm telling you, I know it. Mexicans and they travel to, I was in Canada. It was a whole bunch of Mexicans. I was like, God damn, y'all crossed two borders out this one? God damn. What is up, how far are y'all going up? What the fuck? Alaska, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just fucking around. You think racism will ever end in this fucking country? Nah, it's fucked up. I thought it would end. I remember right after 9-11, y'all kind of young, but right after 9-11, I thought racism would end in this country. Yeah, I thought it would. Because right after 9-11, I remember. White people, they weren't fucking with black people at all. After them towers hit, shh, blacks became real Americans. Yep. The Arabs were the new niggas in this country, goddamn. <laughs> they weren't fucking with us at all. And you know how I know? I remember a week after 9-11, I'm in my car. I'm smoking weed. I got a ski mask on and a gun in the passenger seat. A white cop pulled up right next to me, put his head in my window and said, ah! Hey man, you see anything suspicious around here? <laughs> 
I was like, yeah, two Arab dudes just ran that way. He was like, you're a real American. I was like, Damn, pressure is off the brothers. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. But uh, other people racist to black people too, though. Right, black people? You know who could be racist to black people? Asian people sometimes too. Huh? I'm at a party, I don't know nobody in this motherfucker. I'm the only black motherfucker in there. I'm the only nigga in there, right? Chinese dude gonna come up here, hey, yeah, yeah, black guy. Hey, yeah, yo, yeah, you have cocaine? You have cocaine or weed for sale? I was like, no, how about you? You got any soy sauce on you? I'm gonna get canceled for that one, right? I will. <laughs> They're like, no, that was kind of racist. <laughs> but it was kind of funny, too. <laughs> I'm just joking. Asian people got the crime bill, all right? They got their bill. Can't fuck with them, no. But when we gonna get our shit got there? All right, all right. See, that wasn't even a black dude. That was a Mexican, like, right, right, fuck that. Get them fucking police off me. I see LAPD beat the English out of Mexican nigga. They were fucking him up. He was acting like he don't know English. They were fucking him up. Papa, hey, Jesucristo, hey, por favor, please, Jesucristo, hey, you can't keep hearing me like that. I know my rights. White dudes talk shit to the police. You ever see white dudes talk to white dudes? They could get pulled up for the most minimal bullshit. A fucking broken tail light. He's like, yeah, fucking, this fucking guy pulled me over right now. You're a fucking asshole cop. Yeah. Oh, sir, what's your name? I'm on the phone! <laughs> Don't you see I'm on the fucking phone? <laughs> yeah, he's fucking bothering me right now. He's fucking bothering me, yeah. Look, well, you're gonna fucking wait! <laughs> well, fucking, fucking wait! A black dude do that shit? <laughs> black dude wouldn't even be able to do that shit. We. A broken tail, I will be fucking handcuffed on the fucking floor. <laughs> fucking puddle of water and her face in a puddle of water and shit. And this motherfucker asking our name in a puddle of water. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I said, What's your name? <laughs> it's fucked up, man. All right, y'all been a great crowd, man. Yeah. Give it up for me, Franz Cassius, y'all. Follow me. Follow me on Instagram at Franz Cassius, F R A N T Z. Thank you. Yeah. This has been a Funny Media Group production.